Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Inigo Uriarte. Last week we saw the lateral complex of the ankle and now we are going to check the medial complex of the ankle. Let's start with the deltoid ligament. If we take a look at the medial side of the tibia, we can see the anterior and posterior colliculi and this is the basis of the insertions in the tibia of the deltoid ligament. The deltoid, the deltoid ligament is quite complex and we must, in order to achieve a good understanding of this ligament, we must divide it in, through, in two layers, the deep layer and the superficial one. I recommend to start with the deep layer and from posterior to anterior in order to have a, a better understanding. And the first ligament we will check with the ultrasound is the posterior tibiotalar ligament. This ligament is a very thick ligament uh, with a slightly posterior direction and is the first ligament we are going to check. It's always present and is very, very important in the stability of the ankle. The second ligament, just anterior to the first one, is the anterior tibiotalar ligament. This one is not always present between the 50% or 90% depending on the authors is present or not, and it's, it has a huge variability anatomically. Okay, um, this this one uh, inserts in the anterior colliculi, and the first one in the intercollicular groove, and both insert in the medial side of the talus. Now we are going to check the superficial layer with four components. We will also begin posteriorly and finish anteriorly, okay? The first one is, um, is not always, uh, not all the authors agree that this ligament exists. Is the superficial component of the tibiote posterior tibiotalar ligament. When you usually perform an ultrasound, you can see a thin layer superficial to the posterior tibiotalar ligament. This is called the superficial layer. And some authors con consider this ligament as a specific component, okay? As we go anteriorly, the second one is the tibiocalcaneus ligament. This one is very easy to see, and we notice that the superficial layer uh, jumps between the tibia and the talus to the calcaneus and we have usually a very very good view of this ligament. With its insertion in the interior colliculus, the next ligament will be the tibiospring ligament. But first of all, we must remind what, which is the spring ligament. The spring ligament inserts in the sustentaculum tali and in the medial side of the navicular bone. It's very thick and it has this horizontal orientation. So the tibio spring ligament borns in the anterior colliculi, collicul, colliculus sorry, and its insertion is in this ligament. It's the unique ligamentous insertion of the deltoid ligament. And it's usually very, very easy to see with the ultrasound. And last component, the most anterior component, is the tibio navicular ligament. It's a very thin ligament and is usually quite difficult to see. Okay? And that's all. That, and those are the six components of the deltoid ligament. We're going to check again with first the deep layer with the posterior tibio tailor ligament here. Very thick, very important, very strong. The second one is the anterior tibio tailor ligament. And this is the deep layer. In the superficial layer, the superficial component of the posterior tibiotalar ligament. The second one goes through the sustentaculum tali and is the tibiocalcaneal ligament. And is also above superficial to the posterior tibiotalar ligament. Very easy to see with ultrasound. The spring ligament between the sustentaculum tali and the navicular bone, and between the tibia and the spring ligament, the tibiospring component. 
usually widens on its insertion on the spring ligament and very anterior and the most anterior of all the tibio navicular ligament we usually can see these ligaments as a unique shape as a continuum from posterior to anterior but all those components have been established okay perfect there's another uh, structure we, we, we need to remind this is the posterior tibialis tendon because we use this tendon to locate the spring ligament and it has a, it has a close relationship with the spring ligament and both stabilize the longitudinal arch of the foot of the foot I want to show you this posterior view because his, this is the posterior tibiotalar ligament and this thick shape of this triangular shape of this ligament is very very easy to see with ultrasound and also this tiger-like pattern inside the ligament also very very interesting to know, to know because we are going to check this, this pattern with ultrasound okay and this is the deltoid ligament. Now we are going to check the spring ligament. Uh, sorry, this is the posterior tibialis tendon. And usually it needs some uh, loose connective tissue be between the uh, tendon and the spring ligament here in order to glide. Okay. This ligament is fan shaped and it's very important to know about it because when we perform the ultrasound scan, we always need to locate to orientate the probe following this shape to have a good view of all these components okay it's very very important okay the spring ligament the spring ligament as we have just seen is located between the sustetaculum tali and the navicular bone but this is only one component is the main component of this ligament is the strongest one and the most important which is the Super, uh, sub, um, the calcanio, calcanionavicular supramedial component but that, there are other two components in the plantar view we can see the second one which is the calcanionavicular calcanio um, medioplantar oblique, oblique component the medioplantar oblique component sorry let me check and turn you right Yes, the medioplantar oblique ligament, calcaneolavicular ligament, here. It's a thin ligament with this medial orientation, okay? And it's the second one. And the, th uh, sorry. And the, th here. And the third one is the inferoplantar longitudinal calcaneolavicular ligament. Sorry, it's difficult for me. <laughs> this is the medioplantar oblique ligament. And this is the inferoplantar longitudinal ligament. This is a thick ligament and is located more lateral here. If we um, take a look uh, through the talus, we can see the ligaments um, sustaining the head of the talus here and stabilizing the arch of the foot. Here, the superior medial component um, is uh, needs a very um, flat um, soft gliding area because it's a, a kind of articulation with the head of the talus here and its close relationship with the posterior tibialis tendon this is the spring the supramedial component of the spring ligament and you can as you can notice the tibialis tendon usually needs some gliding here with loose connective tissue located just between these two components these two structures okay okay and that was all i hope you have enjoyed this review if you liked it just check the like in, in this video and if you want to be warned uh, in future releases just subscribe thank you very much